So is it is it the first time that you've done you've done this? So, to, yeah, uh, basically since we moved to Riverside, we've, we've realised. George, <laughs> George, 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 George has been sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you guys have met. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to this new podcast where it's a one hour sound check. So is this guys? This is the first time you've fucking <laughs> done this, is it? <laughs> I am no, yes. Yeah, so it's the first. Basically, when I was playing time is money. Riverside, do you think I've got all day? <laughs> it said you could stream it live. It's to a secret stream yeah. and that yeah so i thought we'd give it a go but <laughs> i didn't realize it would take 15 minutes if you two just sat there quietly watching <laughs> me just type like i'm in a fucking yeah. action film trying to hack into I, a mainframe I, I would have talked more but i was thinking i'll save it for the when we start the pod oh, yeah. do you know what i mean <laughs> cheers mate thanks it's nice and rude no, no, to you're george welcome, it's making george just sit there quietly like he's just, he's just just at george <laughs> Anyway, That's why I just... um, um... <laughs> um, so, That's yes, why I didn't we're... even talk to you, George. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> um, so anyway, this is a so welcome to the podcast, episode two hundred and fourteen. We've got George Easy. Lewis, stand-up comedian, uh, well, uh, author. I, um, I know you've written a book because I, 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 I put a passage. Oh, yeah. I've got a passage in yeah, your book. Yeah, you helped me write it. Yeah, um, and also now, sort of, I, would you say now, sketch artist in terms of your, some, your <laughs> current artist? Well, you know, your current uh, yeah. output on social media. A lot of it is like you know, very funny sketches about parenting and stuff. Really funny. Do you know the yeah, one man. that I loved recently was the one about. You know, parents who don't think they're going to make different meals for their kids, and then just it yeah. was you just talking through. I mean, obviously, like, and you just go, you just break down the reality of that. It's it's so funny. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's definitely like, uh, yeah. That, I mean, that probably is just the main thing that I do now. It's just just doing that. I absolutely love just doing doing that stuff. It's because um, uh, you can just do it from home, which is brilliant. Yeah, but also nice. it's like. Do you, do you ever find with I always struggled with the fact that stand up is just so it's it's just immediately gone the moment that you finish it it's just gone and well, then it doesn't yeah. exist anymore weirdly yeah. that is actually I think this is one of the rare things that's one of the things I've always loved about it I, I mean I'm quite yeah. a uh, but it's a bit of a hippie thing I love the the, the 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 in the moment this happened me and this audience will never be in this will never be in the yeah. same room again me and this selection of people and I quite it's like that. Sort of... left. <laughs> Do people then never people, come back to your show? They're never going to come and see me I mean... again. <laughs> I blagged them into this was going to be good. <laughs> So are are never going, I will gonna, never do that yeah. again. I'm never go, they are never going to attend live comedy again after this, right? <laughs> so I know that that is a one and done situation. It's so fleeting. <laughs> you know, so I think of it more as like Zen, me getting a walk out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I think um, there is, that's the thing. There's some, every co- comedian has a different relationship with it. I think I've got a rare one, and I do genuinely love mm. that. That's why I always get more, like any time I've done anything on television or that, I find that so nerve wracking because yeah. to me, the thought of it being documented, you know, the, th- the thought of other people that <laughs> finding it shit that weren't in the room, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that yeah. one really eats me up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it is genuinely, I find that the moment it's put on camera, like, it took me so long just to get to the point of putting the odd clip out on Instagram because... Yeah, in my head, I'd watch it. I'd do something. I'd I'd think it was funny on the night, and then a few months later, I'd actually look through the footage and I'd be like, "Oh, that's funny." But then by the time that's I funny when I called edit- that guy a cunt in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> I told that guy's job was shit for no reason. In Northampton. So that guy, he's got a stupid name. <laughs> is- that was the clip. Oh man, oh, no, I, not with. Let's not. Um, we're not naming that. I mean, we're not actually pick, picking individuals out when we say this. But I do see some crowd work clips, and part, I just want to reply with that was really mean. What you said to that person. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, yeah. like, I, that is not my vibe. Just digging someone out in the front row oh no yeah. i find it so awkward that i i hate it I, d- I don't think if i wasn't doing this as a, well i just don't think i would ever really go to live comedy and i think that would no. be one of the that that's one of the main reasons because i think oh, i just find it so uncomfortable that and i, I it's i I'd hate to be that person. I don't and, uh... know. I don't. I mean, I've I've been that person. Like first ever time I went to stand up, I was, I think I was nineteen or eighteen years old, and me and my mates went to the Banana Cabaret in London, 
and we sat we got sat on the front and again it was this was yeah this was like this would have been the end of the 90s like the, the bang on the sort of maybe the year 2000 it might have been actually and uh mm. dave johns ripped us to shit man and like <laughs> a couple of my mates were loving it they were just like, yeah yeah, you know, we're, yeah we are a boy band <laughs> 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 That is a good and line. I just, yeah, I just hated it so much. I spent the whole time just totally like fucking dying inside, and um, and it's just uh, to me that was like. But even before I started comedy, and I didn't even know at that point I was ever going to dream of doing comedy, let alone actually doing it. Like I, that, yeah. at no point did I watch in that experience think one day I'd love to be on stage slagging off a bunch of guys. And that's no slight on Dave Johns. That's not. I'm not. It's not about him. It's more about my my sensibilities mm. this sort of I, I remember yeah. um do you remember nick helms show in 2010 it's really good wasn't it yeah, and yeah. um he said I, I asked him if i could come and he was like yeah and he got me a ticket he's so gentle isn't he like yeah he's lovely yeah, yeah come yeah. man and i went and i sat in the front row and he fucking <laughs> picked on me <laughs> but you know like <laughs> He was fucking screaming <laughs> in my face, though. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, man. Just, like, oh, you knew you you could do, way out. <laughs> you could do really personal stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shamed me. Oh, he man. just me too named me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, man. <laughs> But, it's, but um, he, yeah. afterwards, I said I hated that when you screamed in my face. He said, "Yeah, everybody does, man." Yeah, <laughs> <That's really laughs> understand. Yeah, it's weird, that, isn't it? I find people do that. You want to shout directly into their face in front of a room of strangers. I hate the attention, though. Like when I'm in the audience, man. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah. But even like I don't know. I feel. I feel. Any time I've got into any sort of exchange of an audience member that has gone a little bit, you know, even if they've heckled and I've then got a little bit shitty with them, I walk away feeling guilty. You know what I mean? I'm never. Absolutely. I've never been one of them comics who will walk away being like, "Yeah, I'll fucking destroy that guy." I'll always be yeah. like, "Oh god, <laughs> I think I just ruined this weekend. Yeah. Now I've got to kill yeah. myself." You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I don't know what it is. I think it's. I don't um... think I can be horrible to. I mean, I don't really feel guilty if, to be honest, if they're being assholes, but. I, I just think I can't be horrible and then go back to jokes. You know what I mean? I have to <laughs> yeah, it. Fuck I you, like. Just... I can't, get, I can't get annoyed. You know yeah, what I mean? That's what I said about your mum. And then it's like straight yeah. back to... <laughs> Can you so, just um, shut up? Have you, ever been on a, have you ever been on a night bus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, are you, do you do, are you, are you doing much stand-up? Is your stand-up, do you do it less than you did before? You're just now doing your own sort of tour um, stuff? Or are you still... Because we've not gigged together in a number of years. Ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, it's been... Well... Kind of. So I stopped doing as much. Um, well, obviously, after lockdown, I, I don't think I was really doing as much because that's when I wrote uh, the book. And then that's when our kids were really young. And then it got to the point where it was it was definitely harder to leave to go out yeah, and gig. Yeah. But I was, I was doing it. But then we've had uh, another kid since. So he's like eight months old. So the, like, the first section of his life i was doing a lot less live stuff and i was doing more uh just like the online stuff um <clears throat> but as that's built it's now meant that i can like sell tickets and that so now i'm gearing up to do uh my own tour next year but i have i've oh, been nice. gigging a lot more recently i've been doing a lot more circuit stuff recently and it's been nicer actually. it's been nicer you got eight months uh, but how old are the other two they are f- four and five okay nice yes it is yeah. like, I mean, I do find, um, I was away gigging for, you know, the best part of two weeks um, here. And my daughter's three and a half, and that's the longest I've been away from her, for, like, by a mile yeah. since she was born. And it is, it's weird. I didn't like, you know, I felt a mix of guilty and mm. sad the, like, a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, again, yeah. this is something yeah. I, mean, I used to, I remember, do you remember, I remember starting out and gigging with, you know, guys in their forties who were, you know, had a young family, and they fucking love being away. <laughs> like loads of them, loads of them were so happy to be in a travel lodge yeah. in like Cardiff, and like, away yeah. from their family. Oh, and, and thank they talk God. about, like, oh man, I'll get such a good night's sleep tonight. And in my, I always yeah. thought like, that's what it just must be like to be a parent. <clears throat> and like, and I don't know, I maybe it's I don't know if I'm in the minority or that was just an extreme, but like, 
now I don't have that at all. I sleep worse when I'm away from yeah. my wife and daughter because I think I don't have the anchor to keep me sort of as sane as I am when I'm with yeah. them. I felt like, I know, you know what you I mean. mean. It's funny you mentioned my- Cardiff as well. That's that's the one that I remember as like the first time. I was like, oh, this is a bit like, I think you were there actually, Julian. <laughs> the yeah, was that yeah, guy. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to drag you to strip clubs. <laughs> Come on, man. Not really. When are we going to be away from our families again? Come on, man. Result. <laughs> Turn your phone off. Look, do this. <laughs> <laughs> just put, yeah, put, like, put, a, put, a, yeah. put a sort of feeler out just saying yeah I think my phone battery is about to die but I'm, I'm going to head back soon <laughs> boom Stand here in the chicken dip there's, no re- <laughs> there's no reception in this bloody hotel <laughs> in this city yeah the Cardiff all the, ta- all the towers have gone down in Cardiff I'll speak to you on Sunday when I get home in this rural place <laughs> <laughs> what are we in the sticks yeah <laughs> uh. Yeah, but yeah. Gross. Just I remember wandering around like at the like at the what was it at the quay there just during the day in Cardiff. Just yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's this so lonely, like, in it, and sad. Lonely. Yeah. yeah, like it's not. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. When I was before having a family, I never, I didn't mind it. You know what I mean? Because it was that thing yeah. of, you know, what was the alternative? But like, yeah. Ultimately, after the years of doing it, you do suddenly like, you know, it got. I got to the point just before having a kid of. I'd hit the wall of there's only so many loops of TK Maxx you can do just to pass the time yeah. in a city. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? God. It's always yeah. the same shit in it. Oh, you're popping to TK Maxx. I'll go, you know, yeah. just, I'll do another lap of H and M. Like every shop's oh, the same God. in every city, and you just find yourself mooching constantly. Yeah, drinking coffees and like you spend eighty quid in a day because you eat four meals out just because you're bored. Yeah. And like, I find yeah, it depressing absolutely. being on my own in a city, though, walking around. I don't enjoy it, really. Unless it's in a city I've never been to before. And then I actually, I, I'm quite a good solo traveller when it comes to, like, oh, I've never been here before. I'll, I'll, like, do some sightseeing. I don't mind doing that on my own. But when it's somewhere you've been a thousand times, I was, yeah, I yeah. was ready to have a child and start just being a bit more mm-hmm. of a home bird. My first Edinburgh, like, when I did the whole run, um... I got there and I just went to because I pictured the apartment being really lush. I don't know why because I paid because <laughs> I paid so much. Like yeah, yeah. it's so expensive, isn't it? You think fucking hell, this is going to be like a penthouse. Yeah. And I got there and it's just this dead. It was this dead room and it had nothing in it and yeah. just had a, oh, a single bed and all dusty and like. And I um I felt choked in my throat. Like I missed oh, my kids man. so much. I had like a, uh, I was choked up for about the first four days. <laughs> and I was trying to, do, but everyone's out partying and that. And I'm like sober. I just felt, like so, I felt so Ellis... lonely, like in a crowd. You know what I mean? Wasn't yeah. it Ellis James? I was just telling people I miss my kids. Oh, man. Wasn't it Ellis James, <laughs> so though, who once got to, what, got to like one of his first Edinburgh's? And they'd organise their flat and that. But obviously, you, you can't view an Edinburgh flat until you're in it. No. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah got there and he found out his bedroom was essentially a converted walk-in wardrobe right? but, oh, and it was in and it was literally in the back of somebody else's bedroom so to get to his room you had to walk through another bedroom <laughs> for the whole month you had to just live Jesus. out back of someone someone else's bedroom like, it's absolutely oh horrendous God. you'd just be like oh. nah i'm out mate i'd have got um, a bank so, loan yeah, and got the fucking hotel or something <laughs> yeah or gone home pretended i was ill <laughs> there's not enough it's of so that, weird I'd... it's so weird edinburgh i think Have like, you, you've I done it you like... did it what you did it a yeah, couple so... of times didn't you yeah so the first year that i did a full month was like uh doing the pleasance reserve <clears throat> yes. which if people don't know is where they like they get newer acts and there's four of you on a bill and then you you and it's like a pretty sweet deal. Like they put you up for the whole month, and yeah, I did um, that. Yeah, over in the it. meadows. <clears throat> what is um, no, I, I did the reserve that's in two thousand and eleven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm that's like, I just did my, my own gig yeah, in the not... meadows. <laughs> yeah, it's not the one I did actually. We did it in the um, the pleasant. No, we had in a an actual room. You're talking about the yeah. um, lady lady boys of Bangkok, right? That's the one that's on the meadows. You, you got to dance for them in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same, same, same one. Um, but yeah, I remember thinking, oh, this is going to be sweet, and I remember just yeah. finding it like a real slog. Um, <clears throat> 
And then I was thinking, Jesus, well, if, if I'm not enjoying this that much, th- this is like the best of it, really, isn't it? Um, and then when I went back yeah, to yeah, like yeah. a full month, like my own show, I, I mean, I liked it for some reasons. And it was when we just had one kid and he was up there with us. And that was quite nice. But it was like, I just felt like the anxiety and the competition that was like surrounding you it was all, it felt really uncomfortable. I, I found it. Yeah. I could never really enjoy it. Uh, but I always look to people, especially like you, Carl, and I think, ah, oh, that's a, he looks like someone who knows the way to do it. Like you seem to be oh, not me, using though, it no. as like. A <laughs> Whereas Julian, what did you look to me at for? <laughs> look to him like that is not how you do. It. Not the... Is he even? Is, does he even do stand up? That guy <laughs> walking around crying, um... <laughs> crying about his kids. That's some negative energy, man. Get him away. Um... But yeah, but I think again, this my I'm lucky. Mine, this none of it is really conscious. I've always just, I the first time I went to Edinburgh, I had no idea what Edinburgh was. You know what I mean? I literally had no concept mm. of what it was, and I got I, fa- I found it so exciting because there was so much going on, and you know I was young yeah. and I just loved it because it was a it was like a month long party. So my first couple of years in Edinburgh, probably two of the best times of my life you know them first like them, when i went up and did i did like a couple of weeks when i was brand new on the free fringe with mates we had the time of our lives because we'd only done a handful of gigs yeah. and suddenly we're gigging every day in a packed room and just having a laugh we were like Fuck, this is what comedy can be like the next year i went up and did the comedy zone for avalon at the time uh, when they were still running that show and that was like a prestigious showcase where we were in one of the best venues like the best rooms it was like a really historical thing so I was like, fuck, this yeah. is amazing. And the next yeah. year I did my debut solo show. I know I did a double header with John Robbins. And that was just, it was a small room. And we were just pissing around and drunk all month. And that was fun. And then I did my debut show and had a great, so I had like my first four years in Edinburgh where you go through all them big moments of ticking off things you do. I just had the best yeah. time of my life. So I've always had, I've always associated it with good times. I never went in and had a, that, that negative first experience. So it's pure just like luck and timing, really. Whereas I know some people just went up the first couple of times and had a nightmare and they cannot get out of their system. They'll only ever think of Edinburgh as a, sh- as a shithole and it's horrible. And, you know, it's just, yeah. And I think it's, it's more like what you just experienced when you were young, basically. Yeah, I don't yeah. really. I think my first experience was doing So You Think You're Funny and I went up there for one night <clears throat> and, um, and didn't have a great gig. Was, no. <laughs> <laughs> at least i cleared up the question do you know what i mean you came last in it but you came first and so you think you're dog shit <laughs> so you're not funny <laughs> oh so you've proved you're not okay cool. <laughs> well, who was in you your ain't. so you think you're funny what's that who was in your so you think you're funny here um holly oh yeah um, Walsh, Holly Walsh, um, <laughs> yeah, John Smith. Smith. <laughs> I don't think it's Holly Willoughby. Um, <laughs> um, John Smith, Math Brown, maybe. Oh, he was there. I don't know if he was on. I think he might have been. I don't know. I, don't, I, I didn't want another. a list of audience members as well, mate. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, did you do any of them competitions, George? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was it, actually. The first the first experience of Edinburgh were always dead nice because that, that was it. It was going up for a few days to do uh, the competitions. Like I did... Um, what did I do up there? I did, yeah, I did So You Think You're Funny and uh, Amuse Moose. I, that was... In fact, that was great because that was like yeah, because I won the Amuse Moose one, and it was oh, like nice. it'd gone up for like a very short amount of time. Done that, and like this is fucking brilliant up here. Um, and then the BBC one I did up there as well. So they, they, yeah, there's been like nice memories, but it's um yeah. yeah. That's cool. Who did you live with when you did you have like that's again that's because obviously if you went up when with your family, that's a different experience as well to like you know staying with yeah, a bunch, especially the ones where like. I don't know. I, I had a couple of, I had one Edinburgh where I stayed with people I didn't normally stay with. And even though they were mates, they weren't my sort of like little posse who we could create yeah. our own little enclave of, away from the fringe. And that one was yeah. the most stressful fringe I ever had because they were both very much, you know, sitting around reading out reviews off Chortle and stuff during the day. Whereas normally uh, the people I live with are very much like the, oh, the house is a haven, man. man. 
No one, no yeah. one's reading out a review in that house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. keeping yeah, that shit really in the nice WhatsApp review. groups, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Our house was really nice for the for the uh, Pleasance Reserve because it was that it was exactly that it was like a haven because it was um, it was me, Alistair Beckett King, uh, oh, nice Michael Strani if you if you know him, and Yuriko Katani. So it was a oh, very lovely. calm nice. space. Yeah, it it's a quite that's a, that's a nice fun sort of house. No one's doing yeah. coke at nine a.m. <laughs> <Or, or, or, laughs> yeah. at the end of a big night out there, are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my house, my house actually was nice. I had, it was when I first met Joe Lysett, and we got on so well. And he's such a like a like a positive light, isn't he? he was yeah, like really, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It was really nice. And Luke Benson, do you remember? Like, oh, lovely Luke. He still... lives over here now. Hmm? Luke lives in Melbourne. I've seen him a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I ain't seen him for years. <laughs> And um, Jim Campbell. Oh, Jim's you know there. Jim? That's a nice. That's a nice gang. Yeah, it was nice, man. No broads ruining <laughs> ruining the vibe. Nah, um, no, so. no, no, no. It, it was a it was a comedy no show we were doing. Yeah. It was like twelve years ago, mate. They weren't. No... <laughs> they didn't, didn't have all these rules that they got now. Yeah. No dames. Um, <laughs> it's amazing, like to think. You know, when like you, obviously there'll be there's some people that are like oh bloody hell nowadays you know you used to be you to, if you if you're funny you'd get on a bill and it's like that's not obviously not true, but hmm. I remember like I swear to God I used to do lineup I used to do weekend after weekend I must have I reckon for years I did you know I reckon one weekend a month there'd be a non bloke like you know they, it would just be it was so mad how <laughs> blokey yeah. the circuit was when yeah. I started out like it is yeah, yeah. it's a totally it's a much nicer uh, affair these days in dressing rooms, isn't it? It's not yeah. the, uh, it's not, oh, that reminds it's not me. as many it's... old miseries around. Yeah, definitely. That, uh, that first, uh, year when we were doing the Pleasant's Reserve, I remember after our first show, we finished and, uh, Brendan Burns was on after us. He was Whoa. in the room after us. <laughs> and Sorry. so we finished I mean, our mate, show. Brendan's an old mate of mine. I, I think even his right. mates, when, talk, when you're talking about Brendan, go like, oh, oh, oh. that is, a, that is oh, as a changeover in Edinburgh for like venue changeover, that 15 yeah. minutes you get between shows, you know, it's a lottery as to who you get. You either get somebody who's super yeah. chilled and like, how was the show? Cool, man. All right. See you later. And you're like, oh, have a good show. Lovely. But if you get somebody who's like a full on, like a bloody hurricane, like, Brendan, just like blah, blah. <laughs> it's like yeah, that's a exactly. different beast, isn't it? In that in that sort of quite high stress environment. Absolutely, yeah. So the, it was such was a contrast. Was he before you, or he, was he after you? Sorry, he he was after. So the year that oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did my debut show, Sindhu V was after me, and she it was the perfect person, so yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, we were just talking about normal stuff and that. With Brendan, I remember we finished our first show, like the preview show, and afterwards, <laughs> uh, I think we were hanging around or something, and afterwards. He lined us all up, all four of us, and made us tell him which one of us overran. Oh my god! <laughs> we were like, oh. "What the fuck is yeah, going yeah. on?" I, was, I mean, I, I, that is from somebody like from Brendan, who is not. I don't think he's famous for his timekeeping. You know what I mean? Like, that's there's some people I'd be like, "Yeah, man." Yeah. You know, somebody, somebody who's on the second, but Brendan was a bit more fluid. I don't think he yeah. should be like dishing out some. Uh, some insults. It was so that. weird. Oh, it's funny, man. I'm trying Lying to think you up, though. That's Eureka. strong, isn't it? Like... <laughs> right, if I'm <laughs> lying. <laughs> yeah. It's rudeness, man. Um, we should probably just realise we need to get on with some... Let's do some questions from the group that we had. Uh, I mean, somebody's just asked a really uh, <laughs> funny, just real-life question to the, to, the, to the three of us, which is, um, uh, can you... Uh, ask George the best way to save money on your gas and electric this winter, which is a nice question. <laughs> so, no, I don't know if you've got oh, any tips. Because well, um, you, you, I, I do think actually you've got quite um, solid sort of dad energy. Obviously, the fact that you've written thanks, a book man. about being a dad <laughs> suggests you back yourself. But no, but like yeah. what I mean is, there's different types of dad. I, I feel like you're you're you know you're quite a uh, sort of sensible around the house. Yeah, I mean I must a thousand times a day say, can you shut that door, please? Can you shut that door, please? Can you? And I hate myself for saying yeah, it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. God, every time I do that, my wife just likes me less and less. But that's yeah. that's the thing, the heat, it takes so long to heat the house. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, I always find myself, I always get annoyed with myself. On, um, when, yeah. Whenever I hear myself saying careful to Twyla yeah. when she's like doing something like, 
I always stop. I, I I don't do it a lot, but you know, obviously, if she's doing if she's doing something mildly, you know, it's a bit of peril to yeah. it. I'm normally quite good at just standing back and letting it, you know, just trust her. Yeah. You know what I mean? But every now and again, yeah. you just act, you're not you're not thinking straight, and you see her doing something, you're just about careful, and in your head, you're like, don't. Don't put it in her mind that that's a there's an issue yeah. there. You know what I mean? It is that trying yeah, to be a bit more. Yeah, because you meant to do more... it in a. You meant to say like focus or something like that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, or... <laughs> I'm because... not a coach. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to slap them and say fucking pay attention. <laughs> Drop and give me twenty. <laughs> um, no, that yeah, it's hard, hard, fucking it? stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always stupid? <laughs> <laughs> but um, have you, did you? Because did you read many parenting books? Obviously, as somebody who's basically yeah. written a parenting book, did you read a lot before you wrote <clears> it? Yeah, definitely. And that that was the thing because I felt like uh, I'd read quite a few, and it was a lot of like the dad ones were like was well, certainly the ones I had were like quite American and quite bloated. Yeah. They were a bit like I hate uh, that. She's gonna put on of... weight afterwards, but you know, don't worry. Know. <laughs> it's like, oh, mate. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. worry. She's got a sister. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. You always get a side <laughs> ting. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always bang a colleague at work or something. <laughs> but no, but it's I, I hate that sort of. Um... Yeah, a lot of stuff aimed at dads is yeah. some of the shittest. Like just old, most old fashioned bullshit I've ever yeah. heard. Yeah, or just speak. Did you to read you, a like, lot? Thick as fuck. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is. Like, it talk, yeah, it talks to you like you've never considered what it must be look like. To, like, like, must be like to look yeah. after a baby. Like, you know, you're gonna be yeah. tired. It's like, oh, really? No one's ever mentioned that. You <laughs> fuckhead. But um, did you read any of like the them sort of like you know the the, the Philippa Perry type ones? You know, the book you wish your parents yeah. would have read and all that. They're the ones that I found. You know the most, you know, sort of almost challenging in the sense of like, you know, and I know she's not trying to create an ideal, but she's just saying yeah. this is like a nice way to do it from a psychologist's perspective. But it does oh, make you think like, can... I cannot live like, I could not live like this. This is like, come on, it can plant little seeds here and there, can't it? Like, I suppose yeah, stuff but I think like it's, that. And but... Most of it again is common sense. You know, don't patronize your kids. Don't you know? Do always try and come at everything from a place of understanding and compassion, whatever. But you know, I don't think you can just all every hundred percent of the time. If your daughter, if you catch your three-year-old running down the hall with a fucking kitchen knife yeah, in the moment, yeah. you've got to yeah. react the in a way. You've got to you resolve the situation. The right? You know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I do That's think so it's so creative, a... <laughs> but please put the knife down. You know, sometimes you've got to, you've got. To, I do yeah. think stress the boundary slightly more sternly than just always with therapy yeah. talk. You know what I mean? So like them ones I think were those interesting books are to read. Good. I think I think they're good for like uh, yeah, just planting the seed of an idea. Because I definitely remember reading that and thinking, like, even we- I mean, this sounds stupid, but even weird stuff about like just treating your kid as a as a person. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 they yeah, are yeah. people. You know, <laughs> and that's yeah, uh, yeah. they are which, uh, like. <laughs> Uh, like, I talk, didn't know that. talk to them, that, even even but... when they're babies, talk to them and read to yeah. them and like yeah. stuff like that, and, and just but like just seeing stuff from their point of view and things like that. And think I feel like that's something that you don't often do. Is it? They're dumb. You maybe wouldn't instinctively do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See the, all the wrong shit they're saying. <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, but, oh, last yeah, last night actually. Is... Are... Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on. What we saying? Sorry, George? sorry. I've got, I've got a lag, haven't I? I think it's my lag. I, yeah, think, yeah. I mean, it's, it's I just three think of a us bit rude, on... interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should read a book I on think manners. You're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write a book on manners, then, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, go, uh, sorry, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> what, Both uh, of the videos have been off for ages. I don't know if that. It does that like, just as reserve, but, but yeah, it's really. not for it's not for the actual oh, recording. Okay, it's more for cool. just to res- save bandwidth. Uh, so it comes out better quality, but um, it's yeah. Sorry, what were you saying about um talking to sorry, him as a uh, person? Um, yeah, I was just saying that it's good to plant those ideas, and then I think that that helps in the like the moments when you're getting too like stressed with them and stuff like that, and seeing it from their point of view. But I also think it's good, and that's what I've learned from like doing the videos that I do 
it, it's fine to then just completely fail all the time and do it yeah, wrong because yeah, yeah, yeah. you realize yeah. that's what everyone's doing. Everyone's when that's what I mean. Ups. And it's you know, it's, I, know, I definitely cool. was that's a. Fine. I thought pre, you know, I thought I'd be much. I, just, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not. You know, Twyla isn't sitting on an iPad all day or anything. I'm, I'm relatively. I've got boundaries with screen time and stuff, but. I, in my head, there was a romantic idea. I was like, she's never going to have any screen. Like, you know, we might watch a bit yeah. of CBeebies, but she is never looking at a phone screen. And then it's like, Absolutely, that obviously, yeah. I'd, I'd not, like, legislated for the fact we were going to have car drives when, you know what I mean, when she's yeah. sat in the back of a car for an hour. And you can't, what, what it's rude to expect her, what, I just sit there and just stare at the back of the seat like I had to do <laughs> yeah, when I was yeah. a kid, because back just then there wasn't the technology. <laughs> yeah, which is, I do like, if we're having a car ride... That is like twenty half an hour or something. Often, if Hannah drives, I sit in the back with Twyla and we just mess around. Yeah, I mean, I'll be like, I'll do that to not have screen time. But if it's yeah. like you know, if it's sort of if it's me driving us, it's just if it's just Twyla in the back and I'm driving us somewhere, it's like fuck, you can get it on there, mate. Watch like, whatever dog yeah. shit you want to watch. But like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah it's just a, I suppose it's, it's hard. But then at the same time, it, you know, I do see some people was just like that's their default in it. Kids are just all on them, and I'm like, I don't know if that's. I would lean more yeah. towards the uh, the hippie. As long parenting. as there's balance with it, and they're doing real stuff as well, eh? Like, yeah, Brent does it. loads of like arts and crafts and painting and like just make she loves making stuff constantly and yeah, then yeah. she will go on her ipad sometimes though or f- she's got an iphone actually yeah yeah, yeah. But, um, but last night after the gig i was driving past her house and i just grabbed her we went to mcdonald's about midnight and just watched <laughs> but i put my phone in the car and we just watched a film in the mcdonald's car park it was nice man <laughs> I, I can do just yeah. the fun stuff because I don't live there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I do do homework and that with them, but I just try and make it all <laughs> fun. You wrong know answers, I mean? things you don't know what they're talking about <laughs> either. That's why they failed. <laughs> yeah. um, did you ever read uh, the book? You've got, you've got right. a few, haven't you, Julian? <laughs> yeah, just, my youngest is 10, so she's the one. Like, um, I do she's loads of stuff with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. But the others are kind of a lot more independent, you know what I mean? Like they do their own thing. I do take Bo to the gym and spa and that's uh, quite a lot. Um, Verity just doesn't really want to, the others don't really want to do anything. <laughs> My two older boys. Um, um, what's this for? Oh, this is a weird question from the group. Oh, it's so lot. This is a long one. It's one of them would you rather questions. All right, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll get out of the way quickly. It's, you know, it's got to be done. Um, Go on. Jay, he said, would you rather have jammy dodgers for eyes, uh, meaning you have permanent red vision and you can cry jam, or shortbread for lips, meaning every time you speak, you spit crumbs? Um, I mean, there's no there's no right or wrong answer here, is there? <laughs> That's the truth. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean... The, the the shortbread lips to me is the obvious choice yeah. there. Because... Yeah, I mean, it feels slightly less hassle. It's annoying, but crying the red it... tears or crying jam and constantly Jam's seeing so red sticky. vision. Like, yeah, I think yeah, right. you'd it's have to go with the lips, thing. isn't it? I think so. Um, here's a here's a fun question because this is a yeah. this is from Will. <laughs> question for George. Uh, Carl is yeah. starting every day of December with a cocktail. What's the most mem- <laughs> what's the most questionable decision you've ever made for the sake of your comedy or your career? <laughs> Which is a, it's a loaded question there aimed at me. But um, yeah. um what oh, um, man. you know, it's I will say I'm three days into uh, my booze advent calendar and it is it is not as hard as people would think it is to drink a cocktail at eight AM. I know it sounds weird. It shouldn't be easy, but it, it rather is. Well, I think I, I watched that and I'm like at first, I watched him. And I thought, "Is Cal faking this? Like, is he gonna? He's not gonna actually drink it, is he?" But obviously, I think you some do. people do like... think I'm faking it. But I mean, I think yeah. I think the legitimacy does come through. I, I mean, I've never ever in now this is my third year of doing it. I've never once faked the drinking of it. I've never once sort of yeah. done secret pause away. <laughs> you know, I've always I, once I've you know I'm once I commit to something, it's happening, mate. I don't care how. Yeah. <laughs> horrendous and debilitating yeah, 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 yeah. it is. I don't care how bad a decision it is. I'm bloody doing it. But um, does, does it, because I, I watch it and I think, oh, that's, 
I, I can imagine doing it, but I know that if I did that, I'd feel like, oh, I just want to settle in now and carry on. There, Does... Yeah, there is. You've got a. Luckily, I have, <laughs> and it sounds like a contradiction, but I've quite a healthy relationship with alcohol. For somebody who's drinking twenty four mornings yeah, yeah. in a row, <laughs> sounds like, yeah. you know, I'm very good at. Again, it's the boundary. I'm good at a boundary, so I'm like, right, I'm yeah. going to drink my cocktail in the morning, and like most days, I won't touch another drop. You know, what I mean, that is literally I'll have yeah. it, and by ten a.m., I'm sober as a judge, and I won't. I'll just have a nice, normal, healthy day. Like, if you drink I mean, a lot yeah. of water and stuff. Yeah, the loads day of after, water. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. I'm really. I always make sure I have a nice, healthy breakfast. I'm taking bloody supplement milk thistle tablets, and you know, I'll have a nice cold shower. And everything I do is to reset the balance and get. And I'm totally normal for the rest of the day. There was like yeah. on Friday night, so that was the first day I did it, and then um, that mm-hmm. evening I did go for beers because i was met up with a mate lloyd langford comedian now lives in melbourne yeah. Oh, yeah. and me and lloyd went for a few drinks uh and that's when it suddenly does hit me that oh i've sort of bookended the day i got really tired after like three pints i was really sleepy i was like oh yeah that's because i had a fucking triple at 8 a.m <laughs> you know what i mean but um but yeah but most yeah. of the days it'll be my only drink so i'm quite you know is there is a system to it that means i can do it relatively unscathed I bet yeah, it's quite yeah. nice as well to really like monitor what one drink does to you as well. It's, it's quite rare that you get to do that. Like, and yeah, also yeah. the type of drink. So the first day was a quite a, a dirty rum cocktail. Mm. Three, like a double rum, a single, I think, what was it, vodka, and then a mixer. And um, and it was fucking you know, really, that one. Like, I was a bit you know pissed for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, the second day was a really lovely gin I've never had before. And I just had a nice gin and tonic. That's clean, isn't it? Clean, clear. They always say clear yeah. spirits are the ones that are probably the best for you, ultimately, if you yeah. have to do it. And um, that one, I had it. And I could have, you know, I could have driven a taxi after. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, no, I felt like within 20 minutes of it, I felt totally fine. I, was, I felt relatively clean. It didn't Does your immunity like get better as it goes on, like as the days go on? Do you think? I maybe because today's one was pretty strong, and um, by the end and... of it, it don't even do it. it don't even touch. It just makes you feel normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it needs it. Yeah, but um, but no, it's um, it's good. It is, I, it's fun. I, you know, it's one of the things that I sort of. It's not. I quite like having a tradition. Do you know what I mean? And it's quite a fun yeah. one to do, isn't it? You know, I do it so other people don't have to. That's not true at all. <laughs> but um, <laughs> right. it doesn't make, it make any sense. All right, let's see what other questions we got. Uh, um, what's this? Oh, there's a lot of bloody... There's everyone chatting about... Everyone's re- aren't replying to the other questions. <laughs> That's really annoying, isn't it? It's like the jammy dodgy. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone's just... It's that thing where one person's asked one question, now everyone's just discussing that. Um, if you want to join Patreon, by the way, listeners, it's patreon.com slash wertvi. Yeah, it which and, and records will now sometimes be live streamed on there, so you can watch it while we're chatting. And you can um, question us. George Lewis has just been sent Julian's mum's tax returns, and everyone in the street where Julian lives will be without electricity until lunchtime. What is that's not a question? That's just a weird thing. That somebody's <laughs> just written. Does that mean they've that, not? They've Julian? not finished it. I bet. All right. <laughs> I started that thinking there'll be a question at the end, and it's just no, it's just some lunatic has written a thing. Oh, it's Martin. He's a, Martin's good, good fun, but um, it can be cryptic. Although he has he has followed up with a question, which is strictly Old Testament obs. What is your favourite Bible story? <laughs> which is an old one, but um, oh right, I we, thought the question was going to be related to the tax return. No, no, no. The first bit was purely just a little short story he gave us. That's Martin. And, uh, little, that's what you get from Martin. Martin. <laughs> Martin. Um, were, were you raised in any sort of religious schooling? No, no, no. I, totally, I, I don't know anything about. I don't know what heathen. They... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, my parents were were not religious at all. Although I think my mum's really, maybe getting a bit really religious any... now. As she's really, yeah. that does happen sometimes. Um, yeah. with age, she's married to a Catholic man uh, okay. now, and, right? And they, they, I think she just likes likes a bit more of that, a little more of the comfort of it. But yeah, I'd say that both of That's... my parents, when I was younger, they were like atheists, definitely. Pro- really? That's quite. Um, you know, yeah. How old are you? <clears throat> how old was I when I was 
A child? Or just how old are you now? We can do the maths <laughs> <Around>. ourselves. <laughs> various ages, various ages. How old were you as a child? I think loads of different ages, actually, over my time. <laughs> yeah, so, so far I've done everything up to 37. 37, okay. So I suppose that's... A, I, I don't think... like No, I'm 41, but like I don't think I knew... I don't think I knew many people who like, would have had two atheist parents. I think my dad was yeah. secretly an atheist. He he sort of feigned he had to go to mass because my mum basically dragged him along. But my mum was a solid, you know, proper Irish Catholic. Yeah. My dad was one of the ones who was like, I don't really give a shit about this. What, would your mum go to church every Sunday and stuff like my, that? Well, and... I, used to, I used to have to go to church every Sunday up until about probably, <clears> I'm going to say, <throat> eight or nine morning. before my mum sort of <laughs> yeah. actually was quite nice about it and sort of said, look, if you don't want to come, you don't have to. And she let me go. And I was like, late. <laughs> Never went again. <laughs> but, uh, but I still had to go to school. I had to go at school every, you know, every week. Like we, I did right yeah. up until 18. And my college, my sixth form was an addition to my secondary school. And that was a Jesuit. So I went proper hardcore Catholics, man. Jesuits. Right up until oh. 18. So, yeah, it was, um, I did all of that the things. That doesn't necessarily make the pupils more religious when they grow up, does it? Going no, to not a really. school, do you think? No, no, <coughs> I mean, like, fear God a little bit. I've, only, I've got a couple of mates from my school who still are Catholics and still would go to mass every week. I'd say I've got about six or seven mates who are, you know, oh, really? I don't think they're, they're mad believers, but I think purely for the the ritual of it, that thing of going every week, it gives them a little nice thing to like just tick yeah. off and be like, I did that th- I did that this week. That's a nice, I suppose it's a nice... We used to have to do like the Lord's Prayer in the assembly and stuff. It was Church of England school, so it weren't like hardcore, but no. I, I learnt like, I don't know, I, I like the Lord's Prayer now though, like because of that maybe, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I but know you, what I mean. It's quite comforting, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, and it's it. quite I, Yeah, good... we did that in primary school, yeah. It's not yeah, that it's yeah, like churches. Our secondary I, school wasn't like that at all. No. Yeah. I like. I really love churches. I've got a thing. Like, I, I love a little pop into a church and I'll sit and I find it very yeah, quiet like and peaceful it, and nice and. Yeah. I think it's yeah. um, you know, there's something nice about them apart from all the bad. I think it's nice as well. Yeah, well, yeah, What's yeah. That? I think it's quite nice. <laughs> a though. Quiet it's not, time. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't. I'm not anti-religion. I was just sort of not very well equipped to answer Martin's question, but I do quite yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, I like. Um, I like the comfort of churches and stuff um, like that. Yeah, I mean, my parents, I when I was younger, they were like uh, vegetarians as well, which was like really what? unusual at the time. But it meant that I, I didn't eat meat until I was 25. I'd never tried meat or fish. What was I mean, this, it's literally opposite <laughs> to like me. Um, what was the, do you remember what the first bit of meat you ate was? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because it's, it's not that Dick. long ago. It was a... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I knew when I said that. Julian couldn't help himself. It's like Tourette's, man. Just always going to happen. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, you know, you can't, leave, you can't leave any open goal for Julian. He's having it, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. But yes, sorry. Um, what was it? Ch- chicken. I bet it was chicken, was it? No man, it was uh, it was oh, bacon. Oh, it was bacon. Oh. First, you went straight in on a pig. What um? Well, what was the um? What it must have been? Sorry, I don't know what I said it like that. But what was that? It must have been quite a visceral taste. That bacon's a strong taste. That smoky, yeah. sort of rich, well, delicious so this thing is... that I miss every yeah. single hour of every day. <laughs> One day at a time, man. Yeah, he's up saying the Lord's Prayer every day just to try and deal with it. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, but I think that is a weird. You know, there is now actually vegan bacon's that have that 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 tangy, almost fucking metallic richness there uh, they finally have got vegan bacons that do that but like it's um yeah that's a strong taste to start with yeah well it was because i didn't know it i mean i was i didn't really eat a lot of variety anyway but i remember i always thought to myself because my parents as well it, it wasn't like they were only a vegetarian for like a very fir- for like maybe the first three or four years of my life and then they split up they both started eating meat again but i think because i've really? got an older sister she was a vegetarian too and she carried on and i think we were at the age where like we knew by that point, what meat was. So we were like, oh, hmm. don't eat that. It sounds horrible. And then we just, just yeah, never yeah, yeah, I yeah. always said that I'd, tr- I'd try it if I ever fancied it. And then, yeah, when I got to like my mid 20s, I just started sit, like thinking about steaks and stuff like that and just being like, 
like right. really craving it. Yeah. What, yeah. Your, I did like. Did, I was going to say, did your sister? What was your sister? Did she stay vegetarian? Yeah, she still is now. Yeah. What's her? What was her thoughts when you, um, you know, turned rank? Spoke to me since. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just don't have a relationship anymore. So, so yeah, it's very sad. <laughs> but that bacon was delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every now and again, she'll pop round and just like throw red paint on my windows or something. But other than that. It's it. <laughs> Uh, no, no, she she's cool about it. Uh, she's fine. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I uh, I uh, I just started. Yeah, I'd, I'd started like looking at steaks and stuff like that and craving it. And that's what I really fancied was a steak. But then I did loads yeah. of research and I was like, I don't think you can just never have meat for like twenty five years and just eat a steak because your body was <laughs> just like, yeah. it's like never, I've never tried alcohol, so I'm just going to do it like, like, five Absolutely. lines of coke, <laughs> <laughs> just straight in. I'd be like, this is what it's like. Um, it's quite hard to digest um, steak, I guess, isn't it? Especially if you haven't had. Yeah, that's what that's your body's what it, that's not what it said, used yeah. to it. So uh, I'd always loved the smell of bacon. Um, so I thought that's that's what I'll try. So I, I went, I just went out one night and I just bought like some bacon from Tesco <laughs> and I went back home. I just made it. My flatmate walked in. He was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, I was just yeah. like I just I just got to that point, man. Uh, how much? How much did you? How many? Of, how many rashes did you? Do you remember eating on your first go? Three. <laughs> uh, no, no, just it was one, and oh, you the had first one. bite, oh, I could stuff. not believe how salty it was. I couldn't eat yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't like it. I, I was like, I, do, I, I just, I remember it, that. Actually. It really shocked me. I hated I it like, as a kid. So if I went salty. to a friend's house and had it, yeah, or, like me, because oh, I never ate meat actually. I mean. Not till my teens, really. I might have had chicken here and there, rarely though. But like things yeah. like pork was never in my house yeah. or bacon. Right. So when I had it in my mate's house, it was so strong and like, what the fuck? Yeah, I yeah, didn't I, like I, it. I, my parents were, you know, Irish family. I literally was bacon was probably my first food. <laughs> yeah, that sort of <laughs> yeah. just from day one. Baby. You got bacon <laughs> for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Blend it up in, in the in bowl. <laughs> But yeah, so it's. Um, I think I had my feel lucky. I mean, I had thirty years of the stuff. I feel like I'm, I think I served my time. But um, yeah, I need to go away quickly. Is that all right? I'd literally be yeah. one minute. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, been dying for ages. Have you? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, hang on. What's the right? Let's do. Uh, what's the most? Oh, this is quite. This is children related. What's the most disappointing tune on your children's playlist if you created one for them? It's a funny one, that because like as you, you know, everyone's doing their Spotify unwrapped thing. Yeah, you know, when you've got kids, man, your Spotify just takes an absolute hammering, doesn't it? It's so like, skewed, isn't it? Yeah. What's the current? What's the current things that your kids are into? What are the like? Ugh, I'm really because my uh... daughter. We're in Australia. My daughter's just got back into Bluey. <clears throat> Bluey was off the table for. Yeah. I'm going to say a year. Every Anytime it would come on oh. CBB, she'd be like, oh, I hate Bluey. And I was like, why do you hate it? No. Where did this come from? Because I love it. <laughs> and like, and some of the it's things so she started liking, I was like, oh, this is a bit shit. But now she's back oh. into Bluey. Like, it's, it's so nice when they like something that you not just approve of, but you actually can sit and watch with them. Same with Bluey's music. so like. good, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I did, I did a, the, a Bluey video cricket? last week. And, oh, right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, um, I didn't... And it, but, I, I'd never seen cricket, and obviously I didn't realise it had been voted the best Bluey episode ever. Because, um, yeah, but I'd never seen it, and I watched it for the first time yesterday. And it's an, I mean, it is. It, I, I, I reckon I get teary at the end yeah. of eighty percent of episodes of Bluey. Yeah, it's just so. Yeah, they're just so like. Uh, I don't know. It just like really understands what what your life's like, sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I done I done this video, and then um, the woman who plays Chili, the mum, had commented on it. No, uh, yeah, I was like, oh my god, this Have is the best. I saw a photo of her recently, and she, I could not so. believe how different I think I imagined what she'd look like to who, what she yeah. looks like. I don't know why I imagined someone totally different to what, who it is. Like, I think who? she looks, yeah, um, the woman who does the voice of Chili in the cartoon Bluey. Um, oh. I don't know why I thought she'd be a bit older in real life. Like I, don't, I was just shocked by every aspect of it. I mean, she looks like a model, doesn't she? Yeah. And I don't know why I just thought she'd be just a... That's a really polite um, way of saying she's a weapon, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
It's an absolute ting, bruv. You know what I mean? But, um... The girl is fire. <laughs> <laughs> absolute <laughs> weapon. <laughs> it's funny when people call women weapons. It's especially uh... funny when it's talking about Bluey's mum, which is even oh. weirder. <laughs> um... But yeah. um, who? Because who does the voice of the dad? He was a singer, wasn't he? The guy who does the, does yeah, the voice. Yeah, he was of in a band in like the nineties or something. Yeah, I, I forgot what they're but called. They were a famous that... Australian, like a quite a, like, yeah. you know, a very Australian band. But they yeah. are just like I mean, it is it is the best kids show. I think a pretend, yeah. best, I think it's the best like in that style of you know funny for the whole family type of cartoon. It's the best one ever. I think. Like, have you seen Sleep? You must have seen Sleepy Time. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, sleepy yeah. time makes me <clears throat> cry, like cry, not just get a bit tear yeah. up. I have to like leave the room, man. I can't deal with it. Yeah, I think. What, um, yeah, have you ever, oh, have you ever quite... um, watched Big Mouth? Big Mouth. Do you know that? Let's is it, kids, watch is that. it a kids one? Yeah. Is, it, is it an adult's one? <laughs> it's an adult's one. Let her watch it on her own. It's fine. <laughs> Julian's it's like, I'm fine. sick of this conversation. I'm taking it the other way. Get it back to the like grot, Big Mouth, man. it's a cartoon. And like Ren got into it, but I wouldn't really pay attention to it. And then, you, oh, I mean, no. it, it is so funny, but it's so dark. Oh, like, it's no. so. Ex- like it's what? not for children. So, what, why, what, what are they? What's it's the, uh... not for kids. What subject matter? It's are that, they what's discussing? the name of that? He's a he's a good comic in uh, America. He's done like Madison Square Gardens. Oh, Let me Mulaney. Have a look. Jo- oh, John Mulaney. John Mulaney. He voices one of them, and Nick Kroll. Oh, it's a sitcom. And them yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nick yeah, Kroll, John it's Mulaney, so good. Jesse Klein. I mean, it is quality. Oh, there's loads. But I mean, everyone in it is famous, mate. I it's recognize not for pretty much though. every single person in that. And um, oh yeah, that's not that's um that's a grown up thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't to watch out for. Um, uh, but you were talking about the music, weren't you? That's oh, yeah. So, so which, like, the... kids' music, obviously. I think kids' TV is nowadays <clears throat> quite good and better than it probably was. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just yeah, kids' music is it's, it's dog shit, isn't it? We have... Because uh, like, we do in the car, we'll have... Um, uh, we all get to pick a song. That's what we do. We go around in a circle and pick a song. But the kids always choose... <laughs> The same songs, and it's always what? Oh, man. "I'm a Gummy Bear" or "That's Just My Baby Dog." Have you heard that? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's just, what, it's just both of those songs dog. are just one one line repeated over and over again. Oh, so it just, yeah, it's just my oh, baby mate. dog. Makes yeah, you just, just want to fucking dog. hit the hard shoulder at seventy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> what if I can flip this baby? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> but then I suppose like I remember when Baby Shark was a thing. That was before Twilight was born, and yeah, everyone yeah, was yeah. talking online about, "Oh my god, I can't deal with Baby Shark." <clears throat> when I actually finally heard it, and Twilight watched it, and thought it was, it was quite banger. funny, I was like, "It's not as bad as everyone made out." Do you know what I mean? It's not. Yeah, I didn't find it as. It's just where it was overplayed so much, wasn't it? I used to have to sing just it to a repetition the kids and with like, kids, put it isn't on. It? It's. Over yeah. and over and over, they want it's to listen so to it every dumb. ten thousand times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they're so I mean, that... dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but they just, low... <laughs> but it's something like it's so low IQ. <laughs> but then I, I will say, I still listen to. If I hear a song I love, I'll listen to it on repeat. It'll just be on repeat in my like my phone. I do that with songs. For, yeah, I just like. But it's I just, just have in a my song, head. and I just keep playing it. Yeah. So yeah, if you're objective, you'll realise that you're doing exactly what they do. Yeah, but yeah, it's just yeah, you're definitely. not subjecting other people to it, whereas they are obviously, <clears throat> by the yeah. nature of being kids, subjecting you to it. Yeah. Because you are their legal guardian and that's your job. So, you exactly. know, I do think there's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. something to be said. All right, let's quickly do another question. As I've, I've realised just before we do another question, I not even, I just told Julian before we'd done the record, I did a corporate last night. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And that, and I was like, How was I it? actually went along to it. Well, I went along and I was almost nervous because I was thinking before I went, I thought, it's going to be a corporate. I'll have a good story for the uh, for the podcast because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're always, they're usually awful, aren't they? Yes. But then actually, as I was going there, I was thinking, actually, this one, I almost worried that it might be a bit too good. Because it was, uh, it was for a... <laughs> never do that. <laughs> never ever yeah, tell yeah. yourself that on the way to anything. <laughs> and it was because it was for like, um, it was for some nurseries, and I was like, I've got gear on nurseries, you know, and I've got. Uh, oh, I needn't have worried. I needn't have worried. <laughs> was it, it bad? Was, uh, 
it was just tough. It was just one of them oh, where God. I've not felt like this for years on stage, where you're on stage and you, you had a good one. Are... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just you, you just you just play it, and it's just like you feel like no one's like everyone's just talking, no one's listening, oh, no one's laughing. One where, like, and I... It's them gigs when you're. Like normally, when you're doing a gig, it's fun and like you're in it, you're in the moment. Yeah. But when you do those gigs, you are just in your head commentating to yourself about what's happening. It's just like, one of the most like, humiliating like your, things you can it's do. Like Stand there with well. a mic. Yeah. And like yeah. no one's listening. Like oh, it's, it's humiliating it's... human experience. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And it was just like I had the thing as well. I've not had this for years. Where I just started getting a dry mouth, uh, and I've. <laughs> Uh, Cold I was like, I, it brought me back to like the early days of stand up where I used to think every time I'd get a dry mouth on stage, I'd make a note in my head that I must do a thing afterwards where I trial. Because when you get in a dry mouth on stage, you think, oh shit, if my mouth goes too dry, I can't speak. But then yeah. I think to myself, I don't know if that's actually real. I think you can speak however dry your mouth. Yeah, it would yeah. take so a then day I always or think two, to wouldn't myself. it? Dehydration, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it can't happen in a half an hour set, I don't think. Well, that's what I died think. Died so of I always dehydration. Think of... <laughs> How's the gig? Oh, he, died, he died. He literally died of dehydration, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I always think I'm going to do like a little experiment like at home and just like see how dry I can make my mouth. Yeah, and then, yeah. Uh, but then obviously I never do. But it's pure, it's pure nerves. Mineral, but... Like it's you could drink all the water in the world. So like yeah. you know, I, I, a normal gig that's nice, and I'm in the mood, and I go on, and it starts well, and I'm fine. I can do an hour's show about a sip and a sip of water. You know what I mean? But if yeah. a gig is, if it's a, a slightly more nerve wracking gig, a corporate or whatever. You know, and suddenly you go on. Your yeah. body it must just... just suck all the water, like to like yeah, yeah, compensate. Yeah. Like the adrenaline must use it just or try something. And drown yourself. Yeah. <laughs> try and put it to your yeah. lungs to die. The water in your body <laughs> don't want to be at the gig. <laughs> <laughs> it just evaporates. Seventy percent of your lungs. body don't want to be there either. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fucked, man. It's such a horrible feeling uh, that when you start getting that little tickle at the back of the throat, you yeah. start you start like you start doing that thing as well. Where you start losing almost like the breath towards the end of a sentence <laughs> you're trying to yeah. get so you're going to a punchline yeah. you want to sort of hit a punchline and suddenly you're like <laughs> and you just yeah, can't yeah, do yeah, it yeah. and it's the most and suddenly that makes you go more into your head it's one of the most yeah. people, like and what's amazing is it's <clears> always a hundred times worse in your head than it looks to them like mm. they don't know what you're like but without like this so they just yeah, think, oh, they presume what you're always little... shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like they probably think But I've had decent gigs yeah. where I've suddenly just, just like just a shit comic. That's just they just think <laughs> Oh, he likes to <laughs> He just his job is being a shit comic. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird oh um, yeah that's fun, yes but it's a hot it's that's a the worst terrible it? feeling um let's put the yeah. i mean it's quite well, yeah, a somber it's, it's true, one though. I, i've watched i've watched that from the audience i've seen people i've even been at like awards dudes like that in an audience and yeah. looked on and i've never thought god this comic's dying on their ass i've, I've, no. thought, I've maybe thought god why is this crowd not Listen properly, or something yeah. like that, or, yeah, or not yeah, even really yeah. thought anything. I don't think you it's think that not, much. To be it's honest. always worse in your head, like, and also like there's yeah. gigs. I've had but gigs. You're the have... one up there. It's your ego. It's your yeah torture, isn't it? Yeah, so... yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, um, you said about there drowning yourself from the inside. Yeah. Did, what, did you remember Tell me more about this idea? I just want to, I'm thinking of trying it. <laughs> I want to add a few more that? suicide techniques to my arsenal. Talk, talk to me. I also need to tap out. <laughs> Sorry, Very God. interested in this concept. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I feel like. Uh, did, did you. I remember at school, it just reminded me when you said that. I remember at school, that was the thing that they used to scare you off. 
taking pills. It was like you get oh, so yeah. thirsty that you drink so much water so that you drown, you drown yourself. In the end. That, that, that does yeah. happen, doesn't it? Like Leah Betts. Do you remember really? Leah Betts? But isn't it? She but died. Was, isn't yeah. it? They say no, you shouldn't right. drink too much water because you flush out all the salt from your system. It's you do you something need, else. You need electrolytes, yeah, or you can. <clears throat> yeah, get, you can drink too much water, right. and it can end up causing serious problems. You but can I don't flood think your brain or something. But you're not yeah. drowning in it. It is. I think it's more to do with you're flushing out too much stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, cool. I don't think you've got. That's to drink how people did die when they took liters. ecstasy and stuff, eh? Like yeah, yeah, drinking yeah, yeah. too much water. Yeah, they no, I don't, think ecstasy died. I don't think the people that died from ecstasy died <clears throat> from ecstasy. It was obviously things that, yeah. Yeah, it, being uh, too happy. <laughs> 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 Dancing too good. Telling the wrong person <laughs> that you love them. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's do one more question and then we'll, let, we'll wrap up proceedings. Um, this is quite a somber one to end on, but I think it's quite a nice one, actually, in terms of, um, getting towards the end of the year. What was the most personally emotional celebrity death of 2023? It, it, timing wise, um, mine was this week. Mine was Shane, Shane McGowan. McGowan. Yeah, yeah, I um, I Shane McGowan is the person I saw. He's a musician I've seen most out of any other music. Like I've seen him live, you know, double figures times, and uh, and you know, proper seminal from like seeing him live from like the age of 17. When they before the Pogues even reformed, when he was with the Popes, and um, and then seeing them reform and then going on, I've, I've seen them so many times, and like they were a real background soundtrack to my like proper like coming of age thing, and like yeah, I think yeah, they're, they're, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. So, I was, but also weirdly, every time I saw him live, I always thought this is the last time I'll see him because he was such a you know, he's the way he lived. Yeah, he looked like shit. Every time he lasted I saw him, quite like, a long time, didn't he? Yeah. Considering the booze he put away, like, he was famous for his, you know, constitution and like, yeah, I think it was. Mm. It was pretty. He did pretty well to get to sixty-five. I think so that's I, it. I the last like, twenty years, I think, whenever bereft. you see him, you just think, yeah, you just think that uh, he looks like. Yeah, he like, I think it's quite. It's quite poetic exactly. that he dies at this point in the year as well. Like, it's his yeah, birthday, yeah, yeah. Christmas Day. Yeah. As well. Is it? Is it? I didn't know that. I think so. Um, oh, but like, I, I remember so. seeing the post the year that um, Kirsty McCall died, and she died, I think it was in November. That was and... a boat accident, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's horrible, that. But um, oh. they, then they did, everyone was like, they probably won't do fairy tale in New York, even though the gig was on like the 20th of December. And then they did it. And I can't remember if it was like Shane McGowan's sister came out or someone like, and then they did the song, and then snow came out of the fucking ceiling. And literally, I've never seen like thousands yeah. of people just crying. Thousands of like bl- big blokes oh, sort of <laughs> crying. Yeah. It was it was incredible. It's one of the <clears> nicest <throat> like musical moments I've ever I've ever had live. But like, who else mm. died this year? The Matthew from Friends. Matthew Perry. Matthew oh, that Perry. Was a sad. That was a sad <laughs> Matthew. One. Yeah. Matthew from Friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's a weird way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Matty <laughs> called... died, didn't he? Um, but um, that was a sad one. Just like it was such an <clears throat> iconic show, and he was such a like a part of it. it was, I found it was... weirdly with him, and because I wasn't that big into Friends, so like the impact of the, the, him passing away didn't have as big an effect on me. But reading other people's reaction to it got me. Like, um, what's yeah, his name? Joey. What's Joey's name? The actor Matt um, LeBlanc. Matt um, LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc, Matt LeBlanc. Like, did, he did, did a tri- like his tribute made me go like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, often yeah, I yeah. find that I my reaction is more to other people being sad than Carl the actual. Because how yeah. much I'm they meant to with others, you, you kind yeah. of don't think what, about until they die. Perry, or just on other deaths? Just on other deaths, because I was trying to think then about the ones that would affect me uh, this year, and I thought that Matthew Perry would because we watched Friends. My wife adores Friends; like, we, we it's on all the time, and. I thought that that one would hit me hard and it didn't really that much, but I get caught unawares. Like if I'm watching like uh, a football match and there's someone in the crowd and like an, an ex player, but like their wife has died or something. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. I'll be like, oh. I'm almost in tears and I'm yeah. not, I don't even know who we're talking about, but <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. It's yeah. that it's the effect on other people. Um, yeah. yeah. Which upsets me. Um, right. Um, we should probably wrap up um, proceedings. Um, it's been really fun. What a fun, fun chat, everyone. 
Thanks for um, coming, thanks George. Thanks for coming on, mate. And, oh, pleasure. Um, nice to speak to you both. Obviously. But yeah, people should check out your book. Um, on how to, um, What's it called? What's your book how called? Be... Don't Panic. Don't All Panic. All the things it. the it's expectant a guide. It's a guide. dad needs yeah. to know. And there's loads Don't of Panic, like, available co- like, on Amazon. And, um, quotes and stories from like other people, other comedians and things like that. It's very funny. Mm. Um, and check out your um, social media for, for, for very funny sketches on parenting. Um, and you, um, and look out for your when are you, when are you going on tour? Oh, so I'm doing work in progresses uh, from January, and then I nice. think the actual tour will be next autumn. Lovely. So autumn 2024. Excellent. Um, nice, Julian. Any other business? Um, no. (laughs) No. Just another espresso for me.